Hello everyone, Roland Rolbus here with MLC CAD Systems. Today we're going to look at leveraging some of the new advanced features inside SOLIDWORKS 2017. In this example, what I want to do is I want to create an emboss feature on across two, compo two compound surfaces. To do this, I'm going to leverage my wrap command. The main, the main enhancement that you're going to see in 2017 is the ability to actually take this sketch and wrap it up across two compounded surfaces. We simply have to tell it that this surface is what we call a spline surface and then tell it whether we want to create or remove or simply scribe the sketch across those faces. In my example, I'm actually going to create some extra material, what I like to call an emboss. The nice thing about this is I can leverage Instant 3D to get this emboss exactly where I need it and the exact size without having to do any complex calculations. By simply dragging my sketch and making it a little bit smaller, I've changed the size of my logo and then I'm going to change the orientation by dragging it down in the negative y direction. And I now have my logo placed exactly where I want. Gone are the days of complex workarounds to create complex geometry. Now that we've finished up our design on our original part, let's take a look at doing a little bit of modification on one of the sister components to that part. In this example, what I've been given the task of is eliminating some of the weight off this component. One of the challenges is, is I need to create a pocket across this face, but what you'll notice is this face is not planar in orientation. To do this, I'm going to leverage this tool called Offset on Surface. By simply highlighting that face and then choosing Offset, what SOLIDWORKS gives me the ability to do is actually create a profile using the outside edges. Think of a cookie cutter, but that profile is actually directly projected on this non-planar surface. The neat thing about that is once I confirm this, it actually went ahead and created me a 3D sketch, which then I can leverage for some downstream features like trim surface. In this example, I simply want to remove the inside of that, so I'll use that sketch that I just projected and trim this out. To wrap this design up, I'll go ahead and roll to the end, and then we'll round off all these sharp corners. The nice thing about our offset with surface is it created a normal two cut, which gives me the ability to come in here and actually fill at those sharp corners. Thanks for tuning in and checking out some of the advanced features in 2017. I hope to catch you on the next one.